What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage video. Even though it's been 5 days since the epic announcement of these new Pokemon games, the hype hasn't gone down a single bit. Many rumors and so-called leaks are going around, and fans are just excited to see what these new games can bring. Yesterday, Koro Koro leaked, revealing no new information, but look at the difference between the Kyogre and Groudon we know, and the ones on the cover. Some say that the new looks are just a result of their markings lighting up, but if you look carefully, there's much more to it. But I'll cover that in a future video. Let's move on. These screenshots have been floating around the internet showcasing Hone in a more 3D look. This image shows the user about to enter into a route gate. The most notable thing in this image is the bottom screen. Like in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the bottom screen has a more menu-like look and also has the Pokenav. The next screenshot shows the map activated on the bottom screen. Even though these images are fake, they include very interesting ways of how the bottom screen can be used, and I can see Game Freak doing this. This image from the same source is a fairly accurate image on how the title screen can look based off the title screen of X and Y. And this next image shows something much different than the others, an underwater battle. Diving played a huge role in the original Ruby and Sapphire games, and they were the only games to include battles underwater. Exploring the underwater world again in the upcoming games will be really interesting, and with Game Freak always adding newer things to remakes, fans are expecting to see a huge addition to the underwater world. These fan-made images were also created with the intention of expressing how fans want the game to look. This image shows the player about to enter a cave in the middle of the ocean, possibly being the cave that holds Regice. This one shows the player near the boat deck around Rustboro City, and this one shows the player in a small island. Even though these are fake, they look a lot like what fans imagine the game to look like. This scan has also been floating around- Wait, what the- this scan has also been floating around, focusing on Groudon and its new form in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. At the bottom, you can see the original Ruby version and the new Omega Ruby version being compared, and above that is the screenshot of this new Groudon form in battle. There is also an image showing off a possible Zygarde Mega Evolution, as well as a screenshot showing off the first route of the game. This scan is easily identifiable as fake, but it's interesting in the sense that it shows a fan's perspective of how they want the game to turn out. First off, they show your encounter with Groudon near the end of the game being an encounter with its new form unlike the original game. This would make sense as the form is often looked at as a more awakened form of Groudon, when the blue orb takes its full effect on it. The Zygarde Mega is also interesting in the sense of supporting an idea Pokemon fans have. A lot of fans have the idea that Game Freak decided to release these remakes in place of the sister game to X and Y to throw a curveball and make the Horn remix a combination of both, with elements from X and Y being included in the post game. It's definitely an interesting scan and unique theory, but I feel that it may be too much of a stretch to combine these games, as Game Freak would want to split the ideas into different games to make more of a profit. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know how you think these new forms of Kyogre and Groudon will play a role in the new Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games. And let me know what you think these new forms are. There will be coverage on Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire every day, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.